<laughs> How did they record all of this? Thank you. We we're going to get to that. <laughs> Why does nobody ever talk about that? Because nobody talks about anything. They don't ask any questions. This, is, this might be my best show ever. Yeah, dude, you did. That was quick. That was quick. Like, I don't even I don't even think we need to show the rest of the evidence. You just you just flew right by it. We landed on the moon. Why has nobody been to the moon in such a long time? <laughs> That's not an eight year old's question. <laughs> That's my question. I want to know, but I think I know. Because we didn't go there, and yeah. and that's the way it happened. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Godspeed Podcast. I am your host, Joe Guy. And I am Danny. It's everything. Open your crap. How you been? Amazing. How's life? Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Everything's great, man. Um, I found okay. I found this new Filipino restaurant to go to. Cut eat n- some bone n- marrow. N- nice. Uh, pretty pretty solid. Yeah. Uh, did, did you eat everything there? I ate everything I could uh, afford. You know. Oh, wow. I mean, I didn't want to. I didn't want to buy the restaurant. You know. It's a little. Yeah. I ate everything I could afford. All right. Did you uh, eat the bone marrow? No, I got um, some pork adobo and some uh, taron. Both. Those are plants, right? Uh, are the, like vegetables. You'd like the taron. You would actually eat part of that. It's a uh, part of it. Yeah, it's it's banana and jackfruit. Uh, oh, nice. Uh, and then they wrap it in their like uh, like filo dough or. Uh, like feel it though. What is it? It's like, yeah, it's like their egg roll wrapper and then they deep fry it and then coat it in like a uh, honey. It's, I mean, okay. it's so good. Like, yeah. Yeah. So it was an, an, it's not animal flesh. It's not, it's, it's all, um, nice. It's, I'm yeah, happy. I'm proud I could of probably consider it vegan almost ex- depending on what it's deep fried in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I see there's a, there's a, there's a contingency of vegans that think that honey is not vegan because it's bee throw up it's bee so that's what honey is it's bee throw up you ain't know that bee throw up huh that's yeah it's bee vomit that's what honey is okay yeah yeah, no i I get that (laughs) that, how is how is that not vegan it's it's, because you're eating a product from an animal yeah but it's plant-based and they're not an animal they're an insect uh bees are magnificent creatures absolutely i i i enjoy bees (laughs) <laughs> Enjoy bees. I do. I, Yo, one, I love honey. They land on me all the time now. Okay. It's crazy. One bee, when I was at the festival, one bee like landed on me, uh-huh. and it, I thought it was hurt because it was like it'd move a couple steps, and then it would like make like mess with its hands, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. And it wasn't like moving fast. And then I was like, oh, well, I'm going to go give it some sugar cane juice. So I started walking towards the dining hall, and then it flew away. I saved its life. I didn't save its life. It, it seemed like I did, though. You never know. Maybe that bee saved your life. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. You don't know. Well, bees will, st- I think I already said this, but bees will sting you when there's something wrong with you. Yeah. I used to get stung all the time as a kid. Yeah. You you, you eat the crap. I don't get stung anymore. And I eat more crap now, I think. <coughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Anyway. All right, bro. Uh, so. What's, what's, what's going on? Last we talked, you had um, just gone back from vacation and then last week somebody left you a very spicy voicemail <laughs> yeah she was just joking around oh i yeah, i she was just joking around i mean she was joking around about a lot of the stuff okay but yeah all right yeah oh i was just wondering if you had continued to uh, if did you, she left her number did you call her back yeah i called her back oh you dirty dog <laughs> when <laughs> We'll talk later. Yeah. We'll talk later. No, 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 we'll talk later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. T- 
today. Hold on. We're going to be. Let, I, you know, I know you're, you don't watch TV. You're not a TV guy. You've, you've given up all your, your movies and television shows. Is there any form of entertainment you do continue to watch? Yes. Cause there's, I watch wrestling. You watch wrestling. Funny yeah. you should say but that. But it's oh! probably going to stop. Sorry, go ahead. It's funny you should say that. You watch it now? I don't, but I might start. Because The Rock? N- no. I mean, Why? some people might call it because of a rock. Have <laughs> Have you heard the juicy little text message between uh, Mr. Vince McMahon? Yes. Yeah, I heard about it. Oh, my God. This man. <laughs> well, give me your take because, uh, okay. For, for those for those of you who don't know or haven't heard, this man is a sexual deviant. <laughs> <laughs> I have a take on it, but it's probably going to be different from most people's takes. Oh, okay. Let's hear it. Um, Hold on. Would we like to cover some of the text messages before you give us your take? In case any of our... Um, if, you, if you want to. In case any of our listeners or viewers don't or have not heard... Of uh, if you want to, of, of our promiscuous little uh, cuck boy, <laughs> uh, Vince, cuck boy. <laughs> Vince's oh, oh, oh my. Let me just uh, cover one or two, and you tell me if you want me to continue. Let me find a good one here. Let me find a good one. They're pretty. Uh... Okay. Yeah. So this this allegedly comes from Mr. Vince to uh, his uh, a former employee. I'm assuming. And yeah. um, who says this was not not what she wanted. But here's one of the text messages. You need your panties ripped off and, all, and three big black <laughs> in all three holes at the same time. Airtight. Uh, way up your <laughs> way up your ass and as far down, down they will go even farther. And the thickest <laughs> goes down your throat so it makes you gag and convulse as those big black pound away it feels it feels like from the start you're being assaulted but it's but it's made you non-stop just one continuous constant orgasm and just before you pass out those big black squirt their loads of inside of you as you lay on your stomach the is coming out of all your holes okay I'll turn right, you, hold enough. on <laughs> hold on <laughs> here's the cut part i'll turn you over and off all over you we don't need any more. <laughs> now, <laughs> that's several bleeps that I'm going to have to put in. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> that's one of the reasons I'm probably going to stop watching wrestling because of his um, because of his sexual. Well, it's very – If as I watch it now, I see how actual, like, it's very – there's a lot of satanic stuff, and there's a lot of, like, sexual, like, crap that I'm, I'm not really into watching anymore. I think it puts you in a, a low chakra. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'll probably stop watching. Um, when, as, it come, as, it, as it pertains to the Vince McMahon stuff, yeah, the dude is fucking whacked out of his mind. Yes. <laughs> but – Hold on. He- I mean, you can't. You think because a guy sends a text message like that, you think he's whacked out of his mind? Let's let's put. There's our- way more. There's way more text messages than just that, and there's stuff that he did that is just absolutely bonkers. So, when the story broke, they made it seem like this girl is right out of college. Right, she's a young twenty-something year old girl, and she doesn't know any better. And blah 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 blah. blah. The chick is forty years old. Right. Okay. Right. She's 40 years old. She she lived in Vince McMahon's building with her parents. She was her parents were on life support and she was their caregiver and they passed away. Somehow she lost all of their money because they were obviously rich if they lived in Vince McMahon's building cuz he's a fucking millionaire. Right. Billionaire maybe. Um and so Vince McMahon offered her a job. With the understanding that she's going to be doing all these sexual acts with him. 
Okay, she's forty years old. She knew what she was getting into. Right. And the reason the reason I say she knew what she was getting into is because there's multiple there's proof that she was going to hotels and apartments and houses and shit at two a.m. in the morning. Yeah. yeah. With those types of text messages being sent to her, and she was willingly going. That in my book, if you're getting paid for it, is a hooker. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then now she's claiming that she was being assaulted, right. but she was willingly going there, knowing what's about to happen to her. Right. And now she's suing Vince McMahon for what? I don't. I don't know the numbers. Yeah, for money. Um, money. Here's here's my so, here's my thing. Here's my take on. It. I'll go keep going. I'm sorry. I'm cutting you off. Then. Brock Lesnar is also being blackballed from I heard, yeah. everything. Yeah, that's your boy, too. And he didn't even do anything. All he did was say that he uh, he told Vince McMahon he likes what he sees right. because Vince McMahon sent a video of her peeing to him. But he didn't he didn't come in and he act with the girl, and now he's being erased. He's being, <laughs> and now he's hold being on. erased from WWE. Have you ever seen somebody? Which, hey, wait, hold on. Let me ask you a question. I need a little follow, yeah. follow up here. Have you ever seen somebody pee, man, woman, and... and Thought, man, I like what I see there. No, <laughs> no, what? No, he's a deviant. I'm not saying he's not, but this woman's claims that she's being assaulted when she's literally putting herself in these positions when right. she was getting paid for this. She was getting BMWs and all kinds of, of gifts and shit from him, of course. and now she's complaining and trying to trying to ruin his life for money. Of course, that's some that's and nobody that I've seen will even talk about that part of it because everybody needs to be woke and bullshit so um yeah he's a creeper and he took a dump on her fucking head while he was having a three-way with her he's a weirdo <laughs> Vince McMahon is a weirdo I'm not saying he's oh, not a weirdo shit. but she knew damn well what she was doing uh, yeah no I, I is what I, is that's my take I, on it I think she knew what she was getting into and how long did this go on for and yes money will make you do strange things um but I want to circle back to him because okay, <laughs> my man, my man, uh, and maybe it's maybe it's uh, the position he was in, right? He took that that company when it was nothing and turned it into you know the the cash factory. Wrestling, the cash factory. Wrestling would that be nothing is. right now, right? Yeah, hundred percent. And that with that comes a lot of uh, power, and um, you know, there, I'm sure there's a rush. To that and you know as human it's human nature to continue well most human nature to continue to further you know do more be more uh and then excess success success that's also american thing right um so i'm sure trying to replicate that high your whole life uh in being being as uh successful and uh powerful as he was yeah. in that position uh you constantly have to take a step forward take a step forward take a step forward but jesus christ when it gets to the point where you want to see i'm assuming your your sex slave or whatever do you have a bird <laughs> oh no he's playing with he's chewing on a ball <laughs> <laughs> do you have a bird uh but you know you continue taking that step forward to the point where you want to see some lady just get fucking drilled by three big black <laughs> and then and but you don't you don't want to fuck her you just want to jerk off on her afterwards <laughs> vince vince i didn't watch wrestling but god damn it i might start <laughs> oh my god what god damn it i might start you son of a bitch that's your response to the whole thing <laughs> you got a fan vince I wasn't one before, Yo. but you got one now. Wow, you have a way, way, <laughs> way different take than most people and me. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm probably never going to watch wrestling still, but um, fuck, man. That, well, he's not involved anymore. That guy just, uh, you know, way to, I'm glad, you know, we, I mean, we all know rich people are fuck, get weird. You yeah, know, when, they're when, fucked in the head. Yeah, but uh, good to know he's he's out there, too. At least he's a weirdo when it comes to, like, adults, and he's not right. a friggin' it, chomo yeah. like most of the billionaires in this world. Yeah, I'm glad he's not out there, you know, trying to order cheese pizzas from uh, yeah, exactly. uh, a government account. Obama. <laughs> you know, so. 
Anyways, I'm glad. I want to hear your take on it. it. You know, I saw. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm not the smartest guy. I don't like to do a lot of news. There's a lot of things going on, but I figured this was in our wheelhouse. You you I knew you were a wrestling fan, and I wanted to get your take. I'm actually gonna uh, ask people uh, comment below if you want us to do more episodes where we talk about what's going on currently. Because when I'm doing the episodes, I'm talking about stuff that's already happened way back in the day um, or stuff that's going on currently that's uh, supposedly not happening. Um, If you want us to do more current events, I will not be heading those episodes up. But let us know, and then Dan can start doing his uh, his research and bringing shit up, and we'll do more episodes every week. You sure you don't want another uh, reading of his text messages? We good? We good with the one? All right. We'll leave it at the one. Sorry. I get, All right. I get excited, man. I get excited. Uh, yeah, we don't need to see more text messages. That's that's We're good. Okay. I'll just keep it for myself. Right. Oh, my God. Get on that retention, bro. Damn. I'm, I'm tended up, bro. It's been... Vince McMahon wasn't on retention. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> he didn't hear it. Could you imagine his powers if he was tenting up? Could you imagine? Because my man was just letting that shit flow clearly. And he... look at his success. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Just saying. You were saying the kindest words about Vince McMahon of anybody uh, have, he's, I've heard he's hum- lately. He's a human, man. And I, I think... <laughs> I th- I think she's uh she's the piece of shit here. I already said my feelings about her. She knew exactly what she was doing. Dude, he's putting it out in the old, he's like here. This is what I want to do. Yada yada yada. Right. And here's the thing. Vincent Mann isn't denying the text messages. He's saying that they're consensual. Right. And I'm sorry if you look at all the evidence. Uh, it's 100 percent consensual. Right. You're showing up to do all these acts. It's duh. Right. right. Granted, there may be something, you know, I'm not saying that some things didn't potentially didn't happen that she wasn't OK with. I'm sure they're, you know, then why go back the next time? Uh, right. Right. And why, you know, if this hat was happening years ago, why are you waiting so long? Money, 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 Cha-ching. money. Cha-ching. That's a wrestler's song, actually. And that's why I sang oh, that okay. song. Okay. Uh, Anyways, you know, you remember the million dollar man, Teddy DiBiase, you know, no. uh, what's our topic uh, today? <laughs> uh, now that we're yeah, 20 minutes in, um, we're going to talk about the moon. Oh, okay. All right. I like the moon. It's pretty. Like moon. It's pretty, I man. Like the, moon. the moon's pretty. First, we're going to debunk some stuff about the moon. Oh, here we go. <laughs> And I will do my best not to let the flat earther in me come out. Okay. Okie dokie. That was a real weird way to drink a coffee. I didn't see how you did it. (laughs) Good. Good. I'm sure the audience did, though. Uh, Okay. Uh, Do you see this on your screen? I do. What does that look like to you, sir? Um, A dung beetle. Yeah, uh, but what is the gold? The gold. What does the gold look like? What is to you? the gold? Huh? The gold looks like the gold parts, like tin foil, maybe. No, no, it looks a little brass or copper to me. Doesn't but look gold. Tin foil material. Okay. No. Eh. eh. Anyway, um, do you think that piece of shit could land on the moon? Yeah. Man. Did you go to the Joe Rogan School of Thinking? No, but it, I do. Uh, I do align my beliefs with some of his. So you think that hunk of shit could land on the moon? Uh, maybe I don't know. I, I'm not. It could go through the Van Halen radiation belt, and we don't have the technology to do it again. But that thing had the technology to do it. Dude, we're going to the moon again, buddy. It's coming real <laughs> soon. Yeah, they just keep pushing it back over and over and over again, though. Do you see that? Uh, yeah. That's another hunk of junk that went to the moon in 1972. That was $50 million. Below it is $34 million. What the fuck are we looking at right now? (laughs) Hold on, let me make this bigger. (laughs) I can't. It's your screen. God damn it. That's a blackbird. Is it getting bigger for you? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, I see it. That thing. $34 million. (laughs) 
This thing's fifty million dollars. Thirty-four? Fifty. <laughs> okay, I see I see your point here. Yeah. So that went to the moon. <laughs> it traveled through space. Go back to the first one. Uh-huh. What's wrong with this picture? The dune buggy fit in there <laughs> with all the guys, with all the astronauts. That dune buggy right there fit inside of this this machine with all the with all what three all three astronauts for however many days. How would that do that? How would that fit? You can answer any time. Don't hold back. You don't have to raise your hand. <laughs> before, before I didn't even ask you, I didn't even ask you, you this me. before we started. Yeah, before we even started, I didn't even ask you this. Yeah, do you think we landed on the moon? Uh, I am fifty-fifty. All right, well, we're gonna fucking shove you off that fence so quick tonight. Here's the official boots, Neil Armstrong's boots. Yeah, this is his official suit that he wore when he was on the moon. Yeah, and below it is the footprint of the boot. On the moon, do you see a problem there? I'm I am no forensic scientist, <laughs> but that math ain't mathing, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for not playing devil's advocate on that picture. <laughs> no, uh, did you watch the scripted ball, the recent scripted ball? Yeah, yeah, yeah I did. Yeah. Okay. The winning team, were they celebrating? Were they happy? Uh, you know what? I didn't get that far. I was, you know, I work I work nights lately and I was nodding in and out and the team I wanted to win did not. So like as soon as it was over, I turned that bitch off and walked away or stopped okay, paying attention. So so let's let's uh think of past Super Bowl. When the Buccaneers won the Super Bowl. Oh yeah. Were they were they I remember that. Were they celebrating? Yeah. I was. Okay. Okay, and the Super Bowl happens every year, once a year. Yeah, um, obviously it doesn't happen for every team every every year. But what's they say the greatest accomplishment in American history is landing on the moon. Mm. No, they do. They, that's what they say. These are the three astronauts right when they got back during their press conference. Do they look like three guys who just accomplished the greatest thing ever, or do they look like three really depressed guys that have to lie to everybody? Yeah. Yeah, what? <laughs> well, I mean, when you frame it like that. <clears throat> How else would you frame it? Look at him. And you can watch the whole interview and not one time. I feel it. When, not what, one time do they, change, what, wait, do they change their attitude. What year was this? Uh, 1969. I feel like this is how most white men look like in 1969. That weren't. No. Hold on. That were not experimenting with LSD. Bro. Look how depressed they are. They just they just come, they just landed on the moon and came back to tell everybody about it. I'm sorry, dude. I would have a grin ear to ear, nonstop the whole press conference, and they never ever grinned at yeah, all. But these are these are extremely intelligent astronauts who knew that they were going to land on the moon. They knew that you know everything was going to be fine. They knew that they were going to come back and have to talk about it. They they were you know. Now you are playing devil's advocate. Yeah, I am okay. a little bit. Uh huh. <laughs> Now that we have Photoshop capabilities and we're able to like brighten photos and see old photos, how they how they were created and all that, the top picture is supposedly us on the moon with the Earth behind it. Now, if you look at the Photoshopped that they put in Photoshop to see where the where the sh where you know br brighten the contrast and shit, why is there a box around the Earth? Kind of like it was photoshopped and placed there, no? It's our ozone layer. Nobody told you it was. it's a square? The earth is a square? The The ozone layer is... Well, the four corners are on pillars. I know that. The ozone... But I told you, I told you I, Flat Earther is not here today, okay. so... Um, the ozone layer is cube-shaped around our globe, or perfectly... Oh, wow. Are you lying and making that up? I might have, you know... Okay. I, as long as you're being honest to the audience that you just made that up, then we're good. I may, I may have made that up. 
He did make it up. All right, moving on. <laughs> These are released photos of them underneath the pool. And then the bottom picture is a official NASA released photo of them on the ISS, working on the ISS out in space. That's some, that's, that was, they were training to go, you know, they had to complete training. No, no, no. Those are the top pictures of them <clears throat> training. Mm -hmm. The bottom picture is an official photo from NASA. It's the same picture. Same exact picture. All right. I mean, when when you pra when you practice uh, football, you run plays the exact same way you're going to run it during the game. Yeah, because it's scripted. You're right. <laughs> Here's another one. What's going on? Why are they faking space? I don't know. Why would they fake it? So they can tell us we live on a spinning ball. What do they get out of that? Control of the population. This is the this is the dune buggy that should not have been able to fit inside of the uh, the craft. Just driving like normal on the moon. Not nothing's affecting it. Hold on, I just thought of something. Sure. What did what did cameras look like in 1969? <laughs> they were monstrous. <laughs> How did they record all of this? Thank you. We we're gonna get to that. <laughs> Why does nobody ever talk about that? Because nobody talks about anything. They don't ask any questions. Nobody asks questions. D, nobody asks questions. Did I just crack the code? I just... yeah, yeah, yes, sure. We'll give the whole credit to you. <laughs> give all the credit to you, bud. <laughs> <laughs> this, this might be my best show ever. Yeah, dude, you did. That was quick. That was quick. Like I don't even, I don't even think we need to show the rest of the evidence. You just, you just flew right by it. <coughs> but let's still go for fun. Yeah, let's let's keep going. So this guy is the one who directed 2001: A Space Odyssey and uh, Eyes Wide Shut and A Clockwork Orange. And his he's a director named Stanley Kubrick. Have you heard of him? I have. Okay, so here he is having an interview. This interview was in 1999. He died in March of 1999. So mm -hmm. this interview, he died uh, within a couple months of this interview. Hmm. Let's let's see. It's bye. about a movie I made that nobody is aware of, even though they've seen it. Wait, wait, wait. I perpetrated a huge fraud, which I am now about to detail. Okay. Involving the United States government and NASA. All right. What? And I'm sure you've heard the rumors. The moon, the moon landing. Hoax? That's right. That the moon landing was fake. That the moon landing, moon landings all were fake. <laughs> and I was the person who filmed it. You're serious, and. Okay. I'm serious. You're, I'm dead serious. Why are you telling me? Landings, I'm a nobody. Moon, like the moon landings were fake. Okay, and I want to hear what the hell. I'm sorry. What the hell you're saying? I don't know. I, tell me how, what, when, where. I'd like to hear the story about this. But you're, why are you telling me? I mean, and is that so? That's the 15 year thing. So that makes sense now. That's why you. Won't, I can't release it for 15 years. That makes total sense now. Yes. Okay. <laughs> of course, stress, guilt. Conflict of all kinds. Okay, we didn't land on the moon. You're saying, and you felt no, we didn't land on the moon. Okay, so I I, this, I was born in '71. No, I was born in '71. I didn't see that stuff anyway. So just 
How about you walk me through it? If you have, just indulge me here. We'll just do it quickly, or as quickly as we can. You, how did something like this start? Does someone just, do you apply to an ad to do to film the moon landing? No, like, well, I was contacted by NASA. Okay, uh, uh, when, where, why? I mean, what happened? In, before I started making 2001, so in the mid-60s sometime. Um, after Kennedy said his thing, you're saying? Well, considerably after then, yeah. And, and uh, they had seen... Dr. Strangelove, and uh, I had originally requested uh, 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 use of the B-52 to film part of D uh, Dr. Strangelove, and they refused, but they were very impressed by the, the final... Uh, mm, the great film. I mean, great film. It's, it's one of my personal favorites. Yeah. They were very impressed by the look of but, it, yeah. obviously, yes, of people's eyes seeming to be open, but in reality... Or, or people not want not wanting to know the truth. Exactly. So, so you're are you contending that people don't want to know the truth about the world, reality, the moon landings? Are you saying it's a metaphor? People want to want to believe in ideals, and that's understandable up to a, a degree. People want to believe in ideals, and if but the, the government knowing this takes advantage of it by perpetrating. Fraud after fraud after fraud. Do you think it's important for people to know the truth? Yeah, I got uh, yes, certainly. A, a, a massive fraud, a, an unparalleled fraud perpetrated against them. They should know. Okay. Um, I, I mean, they're already suspicious of the government. They may as well have their suspicions confirmed. Okay. And well. Justified. Uh, yeah. Um, um, so, do you think he was murdered by the government? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little bit. I don't want. I don't know. I don't know about that. But I'm saying, why has why has nobody seen this? Why is this not fucking? Wh Everywhere. Why is this the first time I'm I'm seeing this? Why, bro? Why does that happen on most of our episodes? I don't care. Why is this the first time I've seen <laughs> this? Because it's the first time I showed you. You know, it's one thing. It's one thing, um, you know, to have a friend or you know. But when you see somebody who's directly related to that kind of thing and they're talking about it, it, it kind of gives it a little more weight, I guess. Yeah. No offense. That's to why you I or to anybody else, but no. like when you when you see somebody. You know who's directly involved with things like that, and yeah, I don't know, man. That's why I have video to back up what I'm telling you for a confirmation. <clears throat> Especially that video, like that's that's that video is the main reason I wanted to do the moon the moon today, because if it's coming from a very notable director who has directed tons of movies everybody loves who's telling you straight up a couple months before he killed or dies by a heart attack um, that he directed the six moon missions. Uh, it's kind of, you know, telling, no? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, so, <clears throat> I've seen enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna bring you back to this picture right here. Okay. You see the Earth. You yeah. see th them on the moon. Yeah. yeah. And you see Earth. Mm -hmm. All right. These are the spots that the Apollo missions landed on the moon. These are where they landed on the moon. Okay. 
You only you've only ever seen one face of the moon, correct? Right. Yeah, that's what they say. How are these the landings for the moon missions, and we still see her a horizon good, with Earth? Good point. <laughs> good point. I can I can do. Wouldn't they have to be going looking up? I I, I can do simple math. Okay. Uh huh. All right, we'll just move on past that one. That was easy. Yeah, that one's easy. Uh, uh this is the moon uh-huh. that we see right. down there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. This is the moon missing up in the left corner. Why is the moon so dark? <laughs> when when light moves away from you, it gets dimmer. This dude's on the moon, and it's a dark, dusty piece of nothing. <clears throat> and then underneath him, it's lit up all bright. He would burn to death if it was that bright and he was standing on it. Did that make sense? <laughs> yeah, because the moon doesn't have an atmosphere, right? So, I guess there's nothing protecting him from the UV rays and whatnot. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, here's... <laughs> listen, man. Listen. You just gave me the smoking gun. All this other stuff is... Not that it's irrelevant, but like... Do you want to just stop the episode then? <laughs> <laughs> I did it, guys. That was the quickest. That was the quickest episode. Let me pull up these Vic, Vince McMahon tweets again. <laughs> text again. <laughs> you really want to do that? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Keep going. I just think it's funny. All oh, right, so it here, got this, me, bro. Yeah, oh, I could hear the. I could hear the truth in his voice. Maybe I'm a sucker. Yeah. But I can no. hear. I could hear. He's like, you know. He, you don't hear the truth in my voice every episode. <sighs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, here is a video. This is from a, a film called Astronauts Gone Wild. All right. Yeah. Yes. But none of that. You want to see Buzz Aldrin lift his shirt? <laughs> My brain works the way it works, buddy. What do you want me to do? No, I got you. You really like your picture, don't you? You're the one who said you walked on the moon when you didn't. Calling the kettle black, if you ever thought of it. Saying Will I you misrepresented get it myself. Away from me. You're a coward and a liar and a thief. Swung on him. How's that for being a <laughs> swung on him? How's that for being a coward? <laughs> All right, let's do that. You want me to knock you in the head? Well, I want you to I want you to swear get to God on the Bible me. that you walked on the moon. Him, okay. If get you walked on the moon, we're given the opportunity to swear to God that you walked on the moon. I'm going to give you the opportunity to get the hell knocked out of you if you don't leave me alone. <laughs> he starts running away. <laughs> so why don't you just put the end to the record in the argument and put your hand on the Bible, swear to God you walked on the moon. Mr. Cyber, yeah. knowing you, that's probably a fake Bible. The Earth well, you're talking something. to the wrong guy. Why don't we're you there. talk to the administrator in NASA? We're passengers. We're, we're guys going on a flight. Of course. I don't hit people, but you're going to be on the deck unless you get well, the I'm out. I appreciate it. Get the hell out of the Did he just? Okay. Well, I take your stuff and but, get the But check him. <laughs> Why don't you quote me and say it's bullshit? I'm in the shadows in a wrong place. I don't give a I don't give a damn about all that shit. There's a total of shit of lunar orbit being falsified. Being falsified? Correct. We've got an unedited tape from a source at the Johnson Space Center. Yes. Totally nonsense. You got the Mr. Cyber, you do not deserve answers. If you show this publicly, you're open for a lawsuit. Okay. Yo, in the guy that butt that get the guy that like butt butt checked him when he's he uh so the dude that was just recording left his microphone in the in their house and is still recording the audio and the guy's son goes, "Do you want to call the CIA and have him whacked?" Yeah, dude. 
Can we get a gun to shoot them at them before they get out of the office? <laughs> we have a video camera running if you want to do it. Right. I, I, that would be great footage for us. See you later. In court, I hope. Want to call the CIA? Have them whacked. Fucking crazy. Wild. That's hey. They went wild. <laughs> I like this. Yeah. You certainly I like, did. I like this. I like this. I like this one. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> you don't like the flat earth ones, though. Well. This is going right along with it because this these lies are why there's why they did the lies is because of flat earth. You see that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, where are all the stars? <laughs> we definitely should have did this episode before the flare. That was a son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Okay, <laughs> so if the rest didn't convince you, which I, I know it already has, because you know. I'm smart. Uh, so here is a video of a behind the scenes. This chick explains the whole thing during the video, so I'll just let her explain. The view of the Earth, and it's filled up with the TV camera. If the window was completely filled up with a TV camera, as he stated, then an astronaut's arm would not be able to get between the camera and the window, as it obviously does here in this outtake. South America becomes invisible to the or the shadow. This is a segment that they believed wasn't even being recorded, much less suitable for broadcast, for the lens was being zoomed out and the scene was being changed to that of an interior of the astronauts at work, and apparently the stop button popped back up on the recorder without notice. Here is the diffused work light that they used to see camera controls, but not throw light onto the spacecraft's wall. Here they remove part of the crescent insert. Finally, the iris is opened up and you can see the real location of the camera and the very bright and near Earth out the window. Here is the slate for the 19th of July, and the same shot of trickery on the 19th of July, and then the 20th, and the same misleading shot on the 20th. Later that evening, they were said to be walking on the moon. How can this be when they were in Earth orbit only nine hours earlier, and the moon is some three days' journey away? Furthermore, if they genuinely went to the moon, why would they be faking any part of it? Why this trickery with the window? By faking being halfway to the moon, it becomes apparent that they did so because they could not even go halfway. They were shooting the camera out a window, and the Earth was filling up the entire window, apparently. Mm. But what they did was they were close to Earth, so they just filmed out a circular window to make it look like the Earth is a ball out in space and that's why they shut all the lights off around the window and then the camera the lights accidentally come back on and you can see an astronaut right there in view interesting yeah i don't know man but like <clears throat> like her question why fake it yeah i don't know if we really went why fake it right i agree yeah i know you do stanley got me man Stanley got me. So I, should I just stop with this? I mean, I'm good. <laughs> I feel like well, no, because like you it won. Wasn't... All right, so uh, I went over all this stuff about the moon landings, and we'll, we'll 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 visit the moon again sometime soon, and just go over the actual only the moon. Um, but do you think we landed on the moon? You son of a bitch! You got me, S Stanley. Stanley and you combined to get me y'all got me I, right. I do not i i can honestly say i do not believe we landed on the moon all right here's one more question okay why would they fake going to the moon 
because they didn't go. Because <laughs> they didn't really go. We don't have the technologies to get there. And they want to. No, but why they, would they fake it? Uh, because they want to look stronger and more capable than other nations who are also trying to get there first. It's a space race, buddy. It's a space race. <sighs> no, the Earth is flat. Mm. He's coming back. I'm back. You're at this flat. They lie to us about the moon because they need you to believe Earth is a spinning ball and that you're, they're taking pictures of Earth from outer space. And, oh, here's a spinning ball, even though all of their photos are told that there's CGI, Photoshop, bullshit. You're at this flat. I'm sorry. I brought it up. It's okay. The episode's over. Fuck this. Earth is flat. <laughs> Joe? No, I'm so happy that we agree, though. Joe? What's up? Godspeed. Godspeed. You've reached the offices of the Godspeed podcast. We are currently closed. Please leave your information and someone will return your call within 24 business days. Thank you. Yo, you guys are dumb as fuck. Everybody knows we went to the moon.